This video is to help you with the Delta Math um, assignment of uh, plot points and graph function no table given uh, because not everything that you are going to be graphing is going to be in an exact straight line. So it's good to know how to graph all kinds of things. And um, the instructions are use technology to find points and then graph the function. And we are not going to be using technology because we can do it a lot faster by hand. So um, the thing to do, again, uh, just like with the linear uh, equation, is we need to make a table of x, y coordinates. And then we're going to choose our x values. And I think that we will choose the same ones that we chose last time. They're really useful. And if later we find out that they are not working too well, then we'll have more information and we can know, we can choose some more. But so far, we're just going to choose these five x values, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then similarly to what we did last time, now that we have chosen these x values, we're going to take each one and plug it into this equation where we see x. So this equation is a little different in that x is squared. So we're going to have to square that before we do other stuff with it. So I'm going to start out with the first value, negative 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the equation, y equals 2. And then instead of writing x, I'm going to write a negative 2, because that's what I'm figuring out. What is y when x is negative 2? All right, so I've put in negative 2 for x. I've substituted negative 2 in for x. And so now I'm going to solve this out, right? And I'm going to use my order of operations. So I'm going to square negative 2 first. So that is 2 times 4 minus 2. Then I'm going to do my multiplication. So that's 8 minus 2. And that is just 6. So now I know that the y value is 6 when x is negative 2. So I can put a 6 right here. Right? And similarly, I'm going to substitute in a negative 1. So I'll get y equals 2 times negative 1 squared minus 2. Negative 1 squared is just positive 1, right? Negative times a negative makes a positive. So this is 2 times 1 minus 2, which is 2 minus 2, which is 0. So when x is negative 1, my y value is 0. Um, I always really like 0, substituting 0 in for x, because usually it's pretty easy. 2 times 0 squared minus 2. 0 squared is 0, so this is just 2 times 0 minus 2, which is 0 minus 2, which is negative 2. So y equals negative 2 when x is 0. Okay. Um, when x is 1, I'll have 2 times 1 squared minus 2. And that's just uh, 2 times 1 minus 2. And that's just 2 minus 2, which is 0. So I don't know if you notice, but something interesting is happening now. It used to be going down, the y values, and now they're going to, they've sort of taken a turn. They're going back up, it looks like. Um, and then our last one is uh, when x is 2. So we'll have y equals 2 times 2 squared minus 2. So that's 2 times 4 minus 2, which is 8 minus 2, which is 6. Check it out. It's the same thing we got when x was negative 2. So that might not happen on all of them, but on this one. So now we're going to plot these points. These are now uh, points in the coordinate plane that we can plot. So to plot this point, this is the point negative 2, comma 6. So I'm going to go back to and up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and put a point here. Negative 1, 0 is right here. 0, negative 2 is down here. 1, 0 is right here. And 2, 6 is up here. And then um, once you've plotted your points, uh, Delta Math, it's not going to give you a ruler because this is not a straight line, but it's going to ask you to sort of sketch in what the graph looks like. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but this graph looks about like this. It actually makes a curve. And again, you have to go all the way to the edge, and you'll know you've gotten there when you see the little arrows show up. So that is how you make a table um, and then plot the points to graph 